Hello and welcome back to Ducascopi TV. I'm Monica Gibson and as usual on Monday we're rounding off our programmes with Jean-Francois Obzerzac from MGT. Using FinGraph technology we'll be looking at the US dollar and gold today. Jean-Francois, welcome back to the studio. Thanks for having me again, Monica. Now let's have a look at the US dollar and gold. We're kind of waiting at the ready for the Federal Reserve's meeting later on this week. But shall we take a look and see what the graphs are showing at the moment? Sure, sure. So we're in uh, the Ducascopy directory and we're going to, going to, on to the hourly mosaics. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we can see here in light of what uh, uh, we're waiting on Wednesday is that the risk reward seems to be uh, more uh, for the dollar than against the dollar. Basically, uh, the move up on the hourlies is, has reached its targets on the euro and on the pound. And uh, likewise, in the other direction, for US dollar Swiss to the downside uh, for uh, US dollar, uh, for a downtrend on the US dollar and for a down downtrend on the Japanese yen. Now we're going to have a closer look at each one of them. Okay. Just to be noted that uh, Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar are initiating a correction. It's still early stages and uh, on the dailies, and uh, we'll probably expand on them uh, very quickly, uh, it does seem like an intermediate bottom, so not a huge reversal here, but a, a correction which could last a week to 10 days. Okay. Now if we look at the euro dollar, so uh, we're still in a status quo. Uh, we have a slight bull on the weeklies with a corrective, uh, with a, a corrective move up, which uh, has been completed quite some time back. So in a bit of, in, in a no man's land here, we're still in a correction up. It's not impulsive yet. So. Uh, uh, there's still the risk of it resuming the downtrend. And so we'd have to uh, base most of our decisions on the daily and on the hourly. So the daily is heading up. It's getting towards the end of, uh, of its time zone to reach its targets. There's a bit more to go, but as you see, our risk index is already in the red and the envelopes are slowly coming in contact with each other. Mm -hmm. So there's probably a bit more to go, but uh, the risk reward is starting to be uninteresting here. Okay. So we're not expecting a huge takeoff of the euro at this stage. Now, shorter term, we think we're probably into uh, at least what is an intermediate top. Mm -hmm. uh, we've reached the target. There's a bit more time left, but uh, the risk uh, index is well in the red, slowly uh, uh, turning around, and you have, uh, and you have uh, stress on the envelopes. So in this light, if I had to place a bet at some point, your risk reward is more at least to a correction down than, to, in, than to a very strong move up. Okay. Now, very quickly, we'll probably move on to... Back to the mosaic, looking at the pound. See what's happening here. Also here. Also, while well, still uh, in a correction down here on the weekly, uh, it's, long, it's long been done. We're still in this no man's land around here, but it's, the, the trend is still negative. We're in a correction up on the dailies, and at the moment we haven't been able to create an impulsive move up, so it's still at risk of resuming its downtrend. And a similar situation on the hourlies, where basically we've reached uh, these um, just intermediate uh, top uh, conditions where we could expect uh, usually an intermediate top on the hourlies does bring a week to 10 days of consolidation with it. So we'd probably come to the similar conclusions on the Swiss franc and on the Japanese yen here. Now I quickly wanted to have a look at gold, mm -hmm. go into the Lucascopy live streaming, go into the precious metals, go into gold, and here in gold as well we still uh, within risk on the weeklies, <coughs> reaching our impulsive targets. We made it uh, below the corrective targets and there's still no stress on the envelopes and we're still above the green oversold uh, uh, on, uh, on the risk index. So there's still time and risk left here and we don't see uh, the first uh, signs of, a, of, of stress here. So still watch out over the long term on gold. Mm -hmm. uh, on the daily, it's starting to get oversold. We think there's probably a bit more time to go, but uh, we're counting in weeks now. Not, not in months, but uh, you're at risk of a last sell-off which could bring us back to the lows. So there's still risk there, but uh, we're getting close to what could be an intermediate bottom. And uh, on uh, the hourlies, well, we're still moving down for now, so it doesn't contradict what we have on the daily. We quickly wanted to have a look at Australian dollar. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to FX, dollar rates, and Australian dollar is here. It's nice to see the navigating through the, the system as well, makes it nice and clear. Yeah. Well, we had been in an uptrend for quite some time. Top was made in 2011 here, uh, also on the envelopes and on the oscillators. We're moving lower, we're in the middle of the range, so nothing is there to really stop it for now. It's still heading slightly up because it's a very long-term chart, 
but uh, as you could see on the daily, the move is certainly down. It seems like we've reached quite a lot of exaggeration. If you see here, we're in the oversold. We have stress on the envelopes. It's probably an intermediate bottom. It's not finished yet. An intermediate bottom on a daily could last two, three weeks of correction up. And we started here. What would initiate a stronger move up is making above the 97.14 here, which is our corrective target. As long as we stay uh, uh, below it, it's likely to stay very s subdued. If we make it above, we'll be looking at slightly longer consolidation. Okay. So consolidation does seem to be key, but Jean-Francois, thank you very much for coming in. Great for the update. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that's all from Jean-Francois and myself. Don't forget we have our targets and focus programmes on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so click back to the website for them. Goodbye for now. We'll <laughs>